Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on statistics. In this video, we'll be calculating the mean deviation of grouped data. So we have the problem here. The frequency distribution table shows the scores of applicants in an aptitude test. Calculate the mean deviation of the distribution. So we have the table here. We then go ahead to calculate the mean deviation. So we have arranged the table in a vertical form. Um, what we do is to start with the formula of mean deviation. This is sigma f, absolute value of x minus x bar over n. So here we are not giving x. We are going to create the column for x, which is the mid value of the class intervals. So we have the column x. We are going to calculate the mid value of this class intervals to get x. So what we do to get the mid value is to add the upper class interval and the lower class interval and divide by 2. That's 1 plus 10 divided by 2 gives 5.5. 11 plus 20 divided by 2 gives 15.5. 21 plus 30 divided by 2 gives 25.5. 31 plus 40 divided by 2 gives 35.5. 41 plus 50 divided by 2 gives 45.5. 51 plus 60 divided by 2 gives 55.5. 61 plus 70 divided by 2 gives 65.5. 71 plus 80 divided by 2 gives 75.5. 81 plus 70 divided by 2 gives 85.5. 91 plus 100 divided by 2 gives 95.5 so we've gotten the value for x which is the mid value of the class intervals we then go ahead to find x bar so to get x bar it means the mean of this distribution so we look at the mean of the distribution which is x bar equal to sigma fx over sigma f and which will now lead us to creation of additional column for fx so we have the column for fx this fx means the frequency multiplied by the mid value so that would now start with this 2 times 5.5 gives 11 3 times 15.5 gives 46.5 5 times 25.5 gives 127.5 11 times 35.5 gives 390.5 20 times 45.5 gives 910. 30 times 55.5 gives 1665. 12 times 65.5 gives 786. 8 times 75.5 gives 604. 6 times 85.5 gives 513. And finally, 3 times 95.5 gives 286.5. So what we do now is to add the frequencies and fx. So adding this frequency, we have 100. Adding fx, we have 5,340. We then substitute into the formula for mean to get our mean of this distribution. So that's going to give us 5,340 divided by 100. And uh, doing that, we have 53.4 giving us the mean of this distribution which we will now go ahead to find this x minus x bar then the absolute value so which means we are going to create three more columns that is x minus x bar then absolute value of x minus x bar then f times absolute value of x minus x bar we then start from x minus x bar uh, that's going to give us this x minus our mean. So we start with this 5.5 minus 53.4 gives negative 47.9. 15.5 minus 53.4 gives negative 37.9. 25.5 minus 53.4 gives negative 27.9. 35.5 minus 53.4 gives negative 17.9 45.5 minus 53.4 gives negative 
55.5 minus 53.4 gives 2.1. 65.5 minus 63.4 gives 12.1. 75.5 minus 53.4 gives 22.1. 85.5 minus 53.4 gives 32.1. And finally, 95.5 minus 53.4 gives 42.1. So the next thing is to create the absolute value of this. This column, we create the absolute value. By absolute value, we are going to return all the positive values. To create the absolute value, we are going to return all the positive values. So that from negative 47.9, we have it as 47.9. Here is 37.9. 27.9, 17.9, 7.9, and the rest of them will be returned as they are. So we are done with that. We then go ahead to get F multiplied by absolute value of X minus X bar. So we are going to be dealing with this an absolute value of X minus X bar. This is 2 times 47.9 giving us 95.8 3 times 37.9 giving us 113.7 5 times 27.9 gives 139.5 11 times 17.9 gives 196.9 20 times 7.9 gives 158 30 times 2.1 gives 63 12 times 12.1 gives 145.2 8 times 22.1 gives 176.8 6 times 32.1 gives 192.6 3 times 42.1 gives 126.3 So we are done with that. We then sum them up. We are summing up F absolute value of X minus X bar. So from our calculator, we have it as 1407.8. So we then go ahead to substitute into the mean deviation formula. So that we have 1407.8 over 100, giving us 14.078, which is the mean deviation of this distribution. And that's all for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on statistics. Until we come your way again, goodbye.